Britain is launching its most advanced polar research vessel. Here is what you need to know. The cutting-edge polar research ship, the RRS Sir David Attenborough, which the British public attempted to name Bodie McBoatface, has set sail for the first time. The 122-meter-long and 22-meter-wide vessel will conduct sea trials before being handed over to the Natural Environment Research Council in November. In 2021, it will embark on its maiden voyage to the Antarctic to study the effects of climate change. The Polar Class 4 icebreaker will be able to break 1 meter thick ice covered in 20 centimeters of snow up to speeds of 3 knots. Its diesel electric propulsion system was chosen to minimize the environmental impact of emissions and noise. The Attenborough boasts state-of-the-art facilities, including accommodation for up to 90 scientists and crew, two six-cylinder and two nine-cylinder Rolls-Royce Bergen diesel engines, a helipad and hangar for two helicopters, and a lifeboat and rescue boat. The Attenborough will travel with the workboat Erebus and the cargo tender Terror. It has a moon pool, a vertical hull that makes it easier to deploy scientific instruments, such as remotely operated underwater vehicles in rough seas or ice-covered polar waters. The aft deck houses a large cargo crane and winch system. This can deploy a CTD rosette, an oceanography instrument used to measure seawater, and heavy rock drills that sample soft sediment and rock up to 2,000 meters underwater. The British Antarctic Survey originally put the Attenborough's name up for a public vote, and the public responded by choosing Bodie McBoatface. The British government did not like that name, but it has instead been given to the ship's long-range unmanned submarine. The Attenborough will replace the RRS James Clark Ross and RRS Ernest Shackleton. The vessel is named after broadcaster and naturalist Sir David Attenborough. The yellow submarine named Bodie McBoatface will embark on its first voyage this week. The silly name was in fact chosen by the public for the UK's new polar research ship, but the British government didn't appreciate the humor. Bodie McBoatface will leave Punta Arenas, Chile, aboard British polar ship RRS James Clark Ross for the Southern Ocean on March 17th. The ship will release the submarine in a gap in a ridge known as Orkney Passage. Bodie McBoatface is a new type of autonomous submersible that can descend to a depth of 6,000 meters and can travel under ice. It can transmit data back to its mothership via a radio link. The submarine will map the circulation of deep water, known as the Great Ocean Conveyor, which plays a critical role in regulating our climate system. The British government named the new polar research ship as the RRS Sir David Attenborough, after the famous naturalist and broadcaster. The ship is expected to be completed by 2019. After the internet deemed it so, it is my pleasure and royal duty to name this vessel the Royal Research Ship Boaty McBoatface. Hooray! At least that's what Queen Elizabeth may be saying if she had to name this new $300 million ship. We don't actually know if Her Majesty has to announce the ship's name, but if she does, we can bet she'll find the nominum Boaty McBoatface rather odd. In an online poll, the UK's National Environment Research Council asked the public to help suggest names for their new boat. And Bodie McBoatface is pulling a trump and running away with the polls. But other suggestions have so far included RSS Sir Farts a Lot, the Star Trek sounding The Sea Ship Enterprise, RSS It's Bloody Cold Here, Ice Ice Baby, and even RSS Usain Boat. <sighs> Gotta love the British wit. Now, the scientists will probably prefer an appropriate name worthy of this fancy Arctic research vessel. So fancy that in 2019, it's meant to replace other appropriately named research ships, the RSS Ernest Shackleton and the James Clark Ross. But if there's anything our years online at Tomo News have taught us, is that the internet doesn't do appropriate or fancy. So, folks, why not give us your suggestions on Twitter using the hashtag NameOurShip? Then tweet us at Tomo News US to let us know you've done so. And be creative! And by the way, here's our suggestion. RSS, RSS feed. <laughs> See what we did there? If you do, you clearly spend way too much time online. J-K-L-O-L. -L. Failing that, we'd say Bodie McBoatface is good enough. Agree? Voting ends April 16th, so get yours in while you can. But beware, the poll is for suggestions only. Meaning Bodie McBoatface may never venture onto those bone-cold icy waters. Arr, for what a lovely ship she'd be. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.